good. So let me make it faster. I know some people are finding it cool to exchange their red money into LTC or exchange it as sell on an exchange, maybe buying it as okay. So today I want to explain how you can exchange your red money dollar into any crypto to withdraw it out or sell it on exchange. So you can watch this video to understand. So the first step when you are on your homepage like this, know before you start all of this, make sure that your account is already verified. You can use, I think, the Accept National ID card, which is a plastic ID card and a voter's card. So it has to be a plastic card. So once your account is verified and you already have a fund in your account, so the first step you need to do is to check all of this. So it's in dollars, which is $14.16 here. So you have to check if you have all these accounts. So for you to hide all these wallets, so this one is a USD wallet and this one is an LTC wallet. So for you to hide your own, you can click on this plus sign here. So once you click on this plus sign, it's gonna show you the rest of the wallet. So once you click the plus sign, you're gonna see something here below. So we click on create a post. So once you click on create a post, then you can add in the wallet you like. So this one is Ethereum and this one is BCC and gold and so forth. So I've already added Litecoin and USD. So I'll advise you to choose Litecoin because Litecoin has the lowest transaction fees compared to other coins. So once you have set your dollar and you want to exchange it to maybe let's say Litecoin as an example. So once you have this dollar, you've already withdrawn it, then you want to exchange it to Litecoin. So you have to add Litecoin on the hour. I told you before just now. So once you had it, so this Litecoin wallet, you can see I have 0 0.98 on the Litecoin wallet. Now, what you need to do is click on this drop down arrow here. So once you click on it, you're gonna see an exchange font. So you click on the exchange font. So you're gonna show you a place like this. So this is my WMZ. So if you are found in another, maybe this, you can actually exchange to another one as well. But I have WMZ and this one is WMT. So now I wanna exchange it for Litecoin. Just click on this drop down arrow that is from my dollar to any other coin. So I already have Litecoin here. Then you click on it. So once you click on it, then you're going to enter how much do I have in my account, which is 14.04. So the amount you have on your balance is going to show automatically. So let's enter 14.04. So I'm going to get 122.45 LTC. So this one is a form. So now we're going to check the rate on exchange. So we're going to compare whether doing this method is okay, or you can try another method. So I'm going to get one. 122.45 right so let's store it somewhere so this is one 122.45 now so once you've already done that then you click on okx so your phone will be exchanged to ltc now that you've already have your dollar and it's going to be raised from here and it's going to appear on this ltc now if you want to transfer your ltc to any other wallet like maybe binance i'm using okx so i've already copied my address from okx then you come back here then you click on transfer so once you click on transfer then you click on the address you want to withdraw to ltc address then you click on it then you enter your ltc address here so once you enter your address it's going to show you now you can see the rate one w UML will give you 0.001 Litecoin. So this is 0.001 Litecoin is the real one. We wish the other exchange use. So let's calculate how much we have here. 122.45 multiplied by 0.001. That means I'm getting 0.12245 LTC. So this is the amount I'm getting. So this is the amount I'm going to get back. So they've already had a fixed exchange rate, which then you click on next. So once you click on next, it's going to show you this. So here's the commission, the charge on the withdrawal of LTC 0.001. You can see it's low. So then we're going to enter the amount we want to withdraw. So on this, I'm going to remove 0.001. So that means they're going to remove one from here. So it's going to remain one and we have 0.1214 left. So let's check this on our exchange and see the rate. So you come back to your app. So this is for the people that know how to trade. So you know how to use spot trading. If you do not use spot trading, you can actually use convert or maybe Binance OKX. But I want to use straight in here. So once you receive your LTC here, you can see the rates, then you enter it. So let's enter the amount you want to sell. So 0.1214, that means I'm going to get $10.69. So this is the amount I'm going to get from my $14. So $4 is already gone. So I have $10 left. You can see the amount it has left. But if you try to use B2C or you exit, you can get lower than that because the fees are high. So I advise you to use LTC. You want to use this. So the second method is doing P2P. So let's check the P2P. So you can actually say it is OKX as it's only a wallet. I know that as this payment method. So now I want to choose one already. Once you're here, just click on this arrow up here, which is USD. Then you select your own with you automatically on the engine. So 
you have to select US so it's already on USD then you click on the filter so once you click on the filter then you scroll up so find the web money wallet on here so let's find web money so here is web money so this is the web money that you click on it so he's gonna show you people that want to trade with web money so you have to transfer your web money dollar to them and they'll release assets for you so this one is from $10 to 95 USD above that means I can buy from this person so now we click on buy so I've already clicked on buy so how much am I having on one note if you have to send dollars to this person so when you also charge fees but I don't remember the fees they charge but you can actually let's say out of my $14 I can say maybe they charge about $0.5 so let's say for example so let's say this is my 14 point system so let's say I want to transfer now so I transfer to so this is where you're gonna transfer to a post you're gonna choose to let's see so now this user let me show you it for you to understand very well so now I'm having let's say I'm having $14 on the heat yeah so you're gonna enter let's say 13 so let's say that so I'm 13 now so I'm gonna have ten point forty dollars left so this is the W and Z you can actually change this payment method here there were the bombs that were morning so let's choose Z now so I'm gonna click buy so look at it so this is what you're gonna get now so now I'm gonna copy the user or the ID so I'm gonna continue the payment so once I continue with the payment I have 14 left 14 minutes less complete this order so this is the name of the account owner and this is volatile so that means I'm gonna send $13 to that person I'm gonna get how much in return 10.4 USD so let's say I want to do so let's reload so now I'm gonna enter the person's DMZ here so this is an account and I'm gonna enter the amount I want to transfer to which is 30 I can have the notes I want to hire them but it isn't necessary so the transfer type is normal so if you use the protection so it can take a longer time and the fees will be lower so once you are done with that then you press next so it's gonna transfer this amounts to Preston and once your transaction is successful then you click on payment completed so once the person received the payment no this transaction is very fast so so once the person received the payment then you will release the ten point four dollars to you so I'm canceling this trade now so I'll just use this as an example so this is how to do it now so I've already canceled so this is how to do it so once you've already transferred then it's gonna release your coin to you so once you have your coin here then you can exchange it to maybe sell it to Naira from here to your bank account you're gonna choose Naira to already have your 10.4 dollars you can see on LTC I have 10.68 while on P2P trading I have 10.4 so that means using the LTC method is more profitable than P2P trading so you can actually sell your maybe any of the amount to Naira from here for people that know how to trade so this is what I think is a better way to do this